with Dynasys Tech Support uh, with Jake and uh, today we're talking about a TSB for cold control or a free switch for the HVAC. We've discovered uh, we had a lot of premature failures with the cold con or with the uh, compressor uh, sucking in uh, refrigerant that was liquid rather than a gas and so it, it had a very hard time digesting that. So uh, what we have is a cold control or free switch as other people call it uh, the two wires that will attach to the free switch and to the low pressure switch on the suction line uh, zip ties to secure stuff these nuts and bolts are to uh, secure that to the wall of the uh, of the HVAC uh, this is the TSB you can find it on our website uh, and we ask that you put this in anytime you have a compressor failure. And so now we're gonna jump over to the, uh, uh, how to install this onto an actual HVAC. Once the holes are drilled, you can attach, insert the little studs that uh, go on the outside. When you un unroll this, you wanna be very easy with it. Very nice, long radius bends. This has a gas in there and if you break the tube or pinch it, it becomes inoperable. So be very easy with it. So uh, we're just going to work this around so that we can feed it back down in there. And you'll find You'll get faster at this, unlike me. It's still kind of clumsy. So it fits over the first stud. We'll uh, bring this little nut on it. And then, the next task is to get this probe down in the area you want, is this bottom uh, lower corner. You don't want to be right in the corner, you want to be about two and a half inches, two and a half inches, somewhere in that area. And just get it into the core tube between the fins and stab it in there. Uh, once it stops, you want to back it out a little bit, just maybe a quarter of an inch, so it's not touching one of the core tubes. Very important, it'll it'll go too, too fast or shut down too quick. Okay, so the next uh, task is to zip tie this little keeper. So what I do is I put the zip tie through it first, peel the tape, We want to uh, get the zip tie started on it so that when you roll it down there it's it's on the tube and uh, it's a lot so easier. You zip that around the the probe, let it run down to the bottom. Okay, so once that's zip tied and it's secure we can move on and that is now we're going to do the electrical wiring one of them you'll notice has a male the others are females so the two females will go on to the free switch or cold control as some people call it put them right on these probes And you can put these on before you put the uh, cold control onto the wall if you want. Might make it a little bit easier. So these are going to go up, run across the top, and they're going to the low pressure switch. So the low pressure switch is here on the on the suction tube. Remove so one. Doesn't matter which one. It could be either side. 
Uh, the female would go in that place and the male will go right into this little baby and you might have to cut the the plastic away to get this thing in but it'll go on just like so make sure that's good and tight and you can wrap that with tape um, just to secure it the next step will be to uh, lay down this insulation lay the wires on that and again you can uh, tape over this to secure it your kit will come with zip ties to zip tie these down as well yep and we can zip tie this to the core just for some strain relief. And voila. And that's that. Um, cold control is installed. You can put the heater core coil back in if you have one. And you're good to go. Put it, assemble it back together. So this uh, switch will open the circuit at 34 degrees. And I, I believe it's like 38 degrees, it closes again. So it just keeps the ice off the evaporator, keeps uh, gas coming back to the compressor and, and not liquid. It should make this thing run. It has shown that it's uh, cured a lot of the compressor problems. So thanks for viewing. Uh, be sure to like us and subscribe to the uh, Dynasys YouTube channel should be below uh, right down there somewhere and uh, thanks for watching